heard, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Pretty much everyone, right? Now who really believes that words won't hurt you? No one? If you've ever been hurt by the words of others, think about how you may inadvertently hurt others through the use of certain words that may trigger unpleasant memories or emotions. This is what I want to avoid. There are three expressions I'm going to focus on during this speech that I think are gross exaggerations that are not only unnecessary, but they're also hurtful. And there are so many people who are affected by the words that these, the situations that these words present. The first one I'd like to focus on is that uh, makes me want to kill myself. I don't know how many of you have ever been in a boring lecture and you looked over to your friend and you put like a finger gun to your head and gone. Uh, you walk out of class and you go, like, this class is so boring, it makes me want to kill myself. Why would you do this? When estimates in the Journal of Psychiatric Research, in the article, The Systematic Review of Studies of Depression Prevalence in University Students, place depression in colleges between 10 and 80 percent, depending on the area, the college, the study, all these situations. At Cornell University last year, there were four suicides, which I think is a really high amount for one university. And at the University of Alberta, 6.8 percent of students said that they were contemplating suicide. I have a friend, um, this is how I've been affected by, in particular, by this phrase, I have a friend who in eighth grade, uh, she came to me about her self-harm, uh, about her depression, and about her eventual thoughts of suicide. Um, I didn't know what to do, I was 14 years old. I came, I went to a teacher eventually, because it got really bad, and she somehow found out that I had told the teacher about, the, about that she was thinking of committing suicide, and we couldn't find her. And like there was a school-wide search, and we also couldn't find the box cutter in her locker that uh, she brought for the class project that day. And eventually, I found her um, in the bath in a bathroom that is broken down, so no one uses it in the back of the school. And she had cut her wrist um, trying to commit suicide because she thought that my betrayal, because she told me I was telling only the last straw. Um, so I go and I get the teacher. I hold her arm both the head to try to get the bleeding to stop, and uh, uh, she was okay, um, but it really affected me. It's not something that you get over very easy, um, and my question is, when at least one in ten people are depressed and nearly seven percent contemplate suicide, why would you hurt someone like that? Why would you say you wanted to kill yourself when I'm sitting in the room and I witnessed my friend try to kill herself? I think that this is, uh, you know, it's a situation that happens, and the next scenario that I'm going to talk is just as serious as my situation and the situation of those who try to commit suicide, which is the word rape. You know, a test tried to, like, a test raped me, or that football team raped another football team. I hear it all the time on campus. Uh, in a survey supported by the Department of Defense, the U.S. Department of Defense, one in five women report being sexually assaulted in their lifetime. This was a sample of over 16,000 women. So I think it's a fairly reliable sample. 